Hey y'all, so um, I thought I'd make this channel addressing an epidemic I've noticed as of recently, especially going on with women of my generation, um, but definitely I think it's been going on with, uh, with uh, modern women um, for a while before that. <clears throat> And so I've just been observing and noticing a certain trend and uh, I'm passionate about, um, you know, getting into talking about it and exposing it for what it is <clears throat> and hopefully being helpful as to addressing it and suggesting some ways we can combat it. So this particular uh, trend I'm talking about is uh, what I see with a lot of women of, you know, I'm 24, so women of my generation and a bit older is, um, so <clears throat> wanting a serious relationship, you know, that's ultimately what they would like, but being unable to achieve that and also, uh, you know, being promiscuous and getting heartbroken again and again um, without, you know, seeming to be able to control um, the outcome of these interactions with men and kind of, I see just a pattern where they'll meet a guy, you know, start to like him, sleep with him. <clears throat> and then, you know, kind of a while later, um, the guy will lose interest or suddenly disappear and they'll be left, you know, really upset, really upset and wondering what happened. Um, and, uh, you know, seeing this from so many different people, uh, and just the same pattern happening over and over again, I thought, you know, uh, I've been observing it and I think I can speak on it. And um, so that's what I'm here to do. So the pattern I see is, okay, so <clears throat> often it'll be um, so you meet on online dating or perhaps naturally, but they'll be into a guy and, um, start liking him, decide they like him and they'll, um, then take things further. So get physically intimate relatively quickly. Now here's, here's the part where I think is the real crux of the matter. Uh, so they'll be getting physically intimate. And, uh, so in this time we, 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 uh, as women are supposed to think we are sexually liberated, um, and that we are free to be as promiscuous as we want and that it, you know, if anything, is breaking the chains that we used to have on us um, and that it is good for us and healthy and, you know, this just is not true. That's, that's what the main point I'm trying to, going to try to get across is that is just not true. And if you'll notice, <clears throat> it's usually, you know, you get to know a guy, you start to like him, and it's when the sex happens that, you know, maybe he'll want to see you or sleep with you a few more times, but he will lose interest, and you will be left wondering what happened, you know. And I, I used to do this too back in the day. That's how I, that's how I can intimately know this topic. So... You know, I think 
And what I didn't know before, I didn't see the link between, um, you know, I wasn't informed of the link between that intimacy happening and him <clears throat> losing interest. I, um, I just didn't see the link. I thought he should like me for me. And this is a mindset I see often is that he should like me for me. The sex is just a um, whatever thing. And if he really likes me, he'll like me regardless of that. Um, you know, I've even heard one of my co-workers put it this way. She said she would get sleeping with the guy out of the way so that then if he really liked her, she would know that she likes, he likes her for her and isn't just trying to get sex because they've already had sex and that's out of the way. So this is completely backwards and... <clears throat> simply not how it works. Um, and I think it leads to a lot of heartbreak. It's leading to women becoming more and more jaded at a young age. I really believe that. And I see that where you can see, you know, girls saying, oh, all men are like this, or guys suck. And like, you know, another coworker, she um, met a guy from Tinder got her heart broken by him when he suddenly disappeared after they had slept together and everything. And then was dating two guys at the same time, sleeping with both of them. One of them was even moving to Canada for her. And she was just like, men suck, men suck. And I was just realizing how she could be, you know, a guy's moving here for her and and uh, she is actively dating another one, but still at the same time thinking men suck, men are all terrible. And that's, I, I don't know what's happening there when I keep seeing that, um, that pattern happening over and over again. And so what I think is that the women's sexual liberation movement has been a big hoax. It ain't improving anyone's life. Ain't nothing liberated going on with what I'm seeing. If y'all can look around and tell me that looks like a liberation, I mean, you know, being in emotional turmoil, you know, not having, you know, these, and that's the other thing, false self-esteem, you know, we're told, oh, we're women, we're powerful, women can do anything that men can do, and it's this false self-esteem empower, empowerment, not giving you any self-esteem in being a woman, but giving you self-esteem in terms of you can be like a man, and the thing is, uh, we're not men, we can't be like men, we're, we're not men, and, uh, So that's where I see a big issue. Um, it's a false liberation. It's, it's not liberating. Um, I can tell you real liberation came when I closed my legs until marriage. That's when that real liberation came, um, which may be an unpopular opinion, but I'm just saying my experience. <clears throat> there was nothing liberating about uh, giving the most intimate self, part of myself away to guys and then waiting stress in a stressful state of mind to see like if he would text me when's he gonna text me is that liberating It looks liberating on the outside. It looks like, ooh, now we can be just like men, do whatever we want, succeed in, in business, drink like men, be promiscuous like men. But the thing is it destroys us. And the other thing is it destroys men too. They just can't show. It's, it's not as... Um, <clears throat> they can't really don't seem to be able to process it or show it. So
So that's the epidemic I'm seeing. And uh, if you're here, I'd like to help you get out of it. I'm a person who's gotten out of it and is much happier today, infinitely happier. And uh, hopefully I can help uh, you get there too. Maybe if you found yourself on this video, you've uh, been noticing this pattern going on and on again, and you're like, why can't I get a guy to commit? Why um, does the same thing keep happening? I keep, you know, dealing with the same situation over and over again. Why is my self-esteem so low? Why do I hate men in general? Why am I so jaded, you know? And uh, and I'm saying there's there's a way out of that. And it's going to be counter to what society is teaching us nowadays. But it's going to give you uh, the freedom that we are really, you know, looking for. Uh, the real freedom um, and the, you know, self-worth that, you know, basically society is, is selling us in a... Um, in a false way these days, you know, uh, in all these, you can see it in all the, uh, advertisements and everything. It's all about women can do anything a man can do. Women are the next man. Women, this and that. Yeah, women are, I don't see that on an interpersonal level in my daily interactions. I don't see any sort of women being happier and more full of life. I see them drained. I see them emotionally beaten down. I see them hating themselves. I see them constantly attracting men way below anything they should be giving consideration to. And I see women becoming more jaded in the soul and more spiritually dead so you know this is an epidemic and I'm not gonna speak for men I don't hate men I'm just here to help women say what I did and uh, how you can um, get how you can get out of it how you can get out of the cycle how you can find the authentic um, self-esteem and liberation that the society is only selling you a um, a facsimile of um, and how you can overall uh, well let's just say I've been there now I'm here it's a lot better and I'm ready to share it so this is just my intro video this is what this channel is gonna be about uh, thank you for clicking on and I will see you with the next video that will be the first of a series thank you